Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do a beautiful large mountain scene with a lot of sunlight in the foreground. It should be now, as you can hear, things have changed quite a bit. Thanks to VocalBoothToGo.com, they have actually helped us create an amazing environment for our sound, something that I thought we could never get. Now, before I had the sound treatment up, there would often be like big loud trucks using their air brakes come through right during my painting. I'd have to stop and refilm that segment. It was super annoying. This has helped so much. Now what I love most about this form of sound treatment is that I don't have to rip apart my walls, which I was about to do, to install, you know, a more permanent solution. This is easy, and if I want to change rooms or just use them somewhere else, I certainly can do that. I love how temporary they are. So if you guys are teaching art classes and the room is really noisy, or if you're trying to film a video, or just any other application where you need it to be quiet, I would definitely recommend Vocal Booth to go. They've got really good customer support, and they've helped us out a lot. Be sure to check the link in the description to go to their website and check out all of the different products they have. I would highly recommend this form of sound treatment before you go tearing open any walls to try to soundproof a room. I hope this was helpful and I'm very excited to film now going forward. So hopefully you enjoyed this quick behind the scenes video. Be sure to check out their website and we'll see you in the next painting video. Thanks for watching. How can you not end with the liner brush, right? Just get a few of these blades of grass in them. I'm kind of going for my light ones first, dark ones later. It's just kind of a nice way to go because if you overdo the light ones, you can bring your dark ones right back over. It's so easy. This uh, this liner brush makes it makes it a little simpler. Once you get a hang, obviously it takes just a minute of practice to learn it. That's okay. But once you get the hang of it, oh, you're going to like it. Really going to like it. There, that looks pretty decent. Ah, way too tall for grass. That's a limb. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe even bring a couple of branches out. Just have a, a little bush in front. See how you can be flexible. You don't need to worry about it when weird stuff happens. Believe me, weird stuff is going to happen. And that's okay. Mm, I like that. So anyway, we'll just play around with the liner brush here. And put on these last little details. Mm -hmm.